So, Jonathan Owen says he's the prize. Country Wayne said he's the prize. <laughs> Rick Ross, he has like 20 bitches fighting over him like he's the prize. Um, there's a woman who gathered up her whole entire family. Will you marry me, uh, uncle, aka daddy? Um, and the man is looking at her absolutely insane because he's the prize. Please, where is the nearest exit? Where is the nearest planet? How the fuck do I get away from y'all? Because the level of stupidity in you women is, is like... I don't even want it to drizzle down and even catch me. How do I get out of here? How do I exit stage left? Because being a woman, it's just not it. It's, it's not it. It's not it. I need to go form my own planet with people who got some sense because y'all don't. And you sound completely delusional. Let me tell you something. The women that have decided that they want to be married and they want to be in, tr in a traditional type of relationship and they understand their biological nature and their biological needs, they're winning. The women that have rings on their fingers, the women that were able to not only attain the man that they're with, but actually keep him, they're winning. You're losing. You can try to throw these women under the bus all you want to, but at the end of the day, when you look in that mirror, it's just going to be you with your lonely self sitting there with your cats and with your dogs and with your animals. So stop trying to throw these women under the bus because what these women are trying to do is what has succeeded for millennia. It's only within the last 60, 65 years that we have this mentality that women think that they can go outside of their biological nature and create their own narrative. Be independent, but also want a man at the same time. See, you can go to your own planet. You can create this whole fantasy all you want to. But the fact is you live on planet Earth and you're a human being. So you can keep lying to yourself all the time. The bottom line is that you women like you truly want to be with a man, but you don't know how to act right. You don't know how to get in where you fit in. You don't know how to stay in your lane. You don't know how to respect men, and you definitely don't know how to respect yourself. That's for sure. You know, it's always interesting when you see this narrative going around, right? Let's say that there's something that women as a whole, they hate about men. Everybody, All the women are fine until one woman steps to the side and says, you know what, I'm not with that no more. You know what, I don't believe that no more. You know what, I discovered that that's not true. Then the women that are on this cold crap that they all like to be on, oh, they turn on that woman in a minute real quick. Oh, you're a loser. You're stupid. You're sitting there with a shirt on that says, will you marry me? I saw that video that she's talking about. The guy didn't say he wanted to marry her because he just wasn't ready. That doesn't mean that the woman is stupid for asking. That doesn't mean that women that decide to say, you know what? My husband is the leader of this relationship. My husband is the provider and I'm going to respect them. That doesn't mean that they're stupid. It doesn't mean that they're weak and it doesn't mean that they're lame. See, what you ladies need to understand is this. Your biggest power is your feminine energy. But so many of you are running away from it because so many of you are so easily led by other women that want to keep you miserable and single. Your biggest power is your feminine energy. Your feminine energy can get men to do anything that you want them to do. You don't believe me? Go read a history book. See how many wars were started and ended because of women. See how many changes over the time of our civilization have been brought upon by women, have been affected by women completely in their feminine energy. That is your biggest power, but you run away from it all the time. But, and then you want men to run away from their masculinity and become more feminine. So you want men to be feminine to play your role, but you don't want to be feminine and play your own damn role. You want to be a man. You want to talk like a man. You want to think like a man. You want to listen to people like Steve Harvey. 
right? Who's who's definitely not in a healthy relationship. How many times has his current wife cheated on him? What kind of woman was she before she married him? But you want to listen to that, right? You want to listen to Steve Harvey that tells you to act like a man. How has that worked out? How is that book, that movie, that 90-day rule, how are all those things working out? How many healthy relationships do you see that have come, in, come out of that? But you guys continue to go down this path. And now you want to shame women for saying, you know what? I'm, I'm, you know what? Shit, I'm a woman. And I'm going to tap into who I am. I'm going to tap into my real power as a woman. Because I'm smart enough to know that I'm the yin to his yet. I'm smart enough to know that if I'm feminine, then I can be in a healthy relationship with the true masculine man in that masculine frame. See, ladies, you can't have it all. You can't be a man and be a woman at the same time. You can't pick and choose your femininity, your feminine energy, just like you don't want men to pick and choose theirs. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.